the feed. This is, well, I'm Miss Coco G. And I'm Will King. And we just want to welcome you guys and i um, happy to be here one more time. So it was so. good. How was your weekend? <laughs> it, was, uh, it was good. It was very chill. Just relaxed and hung out with the family. Did a little bit of furniture shopping, which was fun. And got to jump on some couches and beds. And okay. Yeah. And you? You know what? Um, <laughs> I'm very appreciative. No, I had a very lovely, safe weekend. Can't complain about oh, much. Yes. You know, and with that said, you know, we have some, we have, we would love to um, send our condolences on behalf of Mind DJ's radio to the yeah. families and the actual victims of that horrible, horrible incident or bunch of incidents that happened in France this past Friday, you know? Yes, poor Paris and mm -hmm. Lebanon and Beirut and all of those countries that were hit. <laughs> it's ridiculous, you know, the reason, yeah. you know, and we, we would like to, like I said, we extend that on behalf of my DJ's radio, but it's ridiculous because it was actually seven attacks, seven separate attacks, some of them actually having, um, happening simultaneously, mm -hmm. you know, there was a football game that was going on, there was an attack there, there was one attack at the mall, mm -hmm. and a pub, you know, it, it's ridiculous. And a cafe? In a cafe. The cafe. You know? Yeah. And the thing is, it's like, one of the issues we're having with in America is like, people having issues connecting because it was France and not America. Mm -hmm. You know? What yeah, we're, I've seen a lot of postings um, on social media about everybody's differences, and it's, I mean, it, it, it's, it needs to be um, brought out and recognized. Yeah. You know, the thing is, um, Coco, what I, what I find an issue with is, like, unless something affects us as Americans, you know, mm -hmm. we have an issue connecting with it. You know, I think what, what we are missing here is the hindsight that these are human lives that was lost. It could have happened to anybody. You know, and one of the big issues we have as a world, as a human family, is this whole ISIS, this terrorist movement. You know, it's all right for anybody to feel a certain way. You don't have to agree with different nations or whatnot, but the fact that you go to the limbs of taking human lives is utterly ridiculous, you know? It's a sickness. It um, is. You, it's, to me, it's a mental sickness. How do you even have the cojones <laughs> to get the gun and kill somebody? It, it just, I don't know. I, 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 it's a tragedy, and I feel really sad. So with that, people. like she said, you no, know, we want to express our deepest sympathy or condone, express our condolences to those people. But we also want to go ahead and address the fact that a lot of people, social media and whatnot, you know, because mm -hmm. social media, I always find a funny way to put the negative stuff out there, you know. A lot of people keep saying Black Lives Matter and all this. Well, that don't have nothing to do with the fact that innocent people was killed. You know, it doesn't, it, it, all lives matter. Let's go ahead. My DJ's radio want to go ahead, and this is where we stand as a whole. All lives matter. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, Mexican. No, we're all one people. That's mm -hmm. one message that we preach daily. You know, if you listen to the Bullyville show earlier, that's something was said. You know, so when people jump on this um, bandwagon of saying, why is there a Paris flag or a French flag on people's posts, you know, it's people being human. At what point did we lose our humanity to say, well, this is worse than this? No, wrong is wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, ISIS is ex extreme, and I mean, it's out of control. One of my rebuttals I have to people, if we feel this, there's, we need to police our world, our country, people need to take action. Mm -hmm. You know, when we have radicals like or extremists like Iris, I mean, ISIS, Iris. <laughs> Oops, you know, not the help group. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> they work through fear. You know, at some point we need to stand up and let these individuals know we are not afraid of you. You know, we have opinions just like you, and that's straight to ISIS. I'm not afraid of you. You know, and my 15 years in the military would say that I'll do it again. It's ridiculous. You know, what do you think about that with everything on social media? Um, I would probably be more bummed out if people weren't expressing anything so you know the fact that they are putting the flag up on their profile pic that facebook is allowing that um you know function for us to do that that's pretty cool i'll i kind of like that i think if it wasn't being recognized or if people weren't showing some sympathy 
then that would really worry me more mm. about the, you know the world that we live in. Yeah, we live in a cruel world, and there are cruel people out there doing evil things. But I, I agree that if we stand and be united and go against these guys, then, you know, I think we would have more of an effect. You know, I agree with you. You know, one of the biggest things, you know, for those who are newsworthy, is that France automatically shut down their borders. You yeah. know, they wasn't letting anybody in. Something that America could have learned from since 9-11 that we didn't do. Right. You know what I'm saying? They shut down their borders, and one what they policed their... Um, their civilians and their citizens to do was not to protest. Mm -hmm. I would have took it a step further and made martial law. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just just to keep people safe. Because just the very next day as Everybody people Everybody has a gun. Yeah. <laughs> gun laws, I mean I'm no with that being stated. I want a machine gun. It sounds easier to do, man. <laughs> Cause even them terrorists got guns too, you know? And I seen an American I don't know how I felt about this. I seen an American individual from Harlem, New York and was on media takeout. And this individual had a hood on, and he was literally making a threat to I ISIS. None come over and this and that. My thing is this, you know, we could send messages to individuals through action and whatnot, but we don't need to fall and stoop to the same level as them. Because what makes them better than us? They're only following their, their beliefs. And you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. However wrong it may be. You know, the, to me personally, the value of human life it, it, it supersedes anybody's opinion. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I can't agree with none of that. You know, so for those who did put up their flag for France, you know, for those who had candle night visuals, you know, even though we're not French, I commend you. You know what I'm saying? I commend you to look past ignorant individuals still talking about Black Lives Matter and all this other stuff. The fact of the matter is human lives was lost. You know, and that's what we need to focus on. And if anybody reach this reaches anybody in France, we're here with you. We're praying with you. Just stay off the streets and chill with the protesting. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You know, and it's very tragic, you know, what happened in France. We won't close out. With pretty much giving our condolences to some other factors that happened earlier this year, you know, with the Boko Haram, where we understand like 2,000, 2,000 people was killed. And we also want to recognize what just recently happened in Kenya. We don't want to forget that because, like I said, it's newsworthy. We want to give our condolences to all those family members that lost somebody in terrorist attack this year. You're you know, in our thoughts yeah, and in our prayers. Very and much in our thoughts and prayers yeah. from my DJ's radio. Would you like to know the easiest and fastest way to vastly improve your overall health and well-being? If so, then I'd like to introduce you to Opana Naturals Probiotics, the most sophisticated brand of probiotics money can buy. Specifically formulated by a team of scientists from Georgia, the Opana Naturals Probiotic Supplement contains proprietary beneficial bacteria called Unique IS2. This bacteria is designed specifically to survive the harsh environment of the stomach and arrive alive in the intestines where they can do their best work. The process is aided by an addition of a potent prebiotic called Nutriflora P95, which acts as a food for the good bacteria, allowing them to colonize and flourish in the gut, providing a long-lasting benefit to your health. The Opana Naturals Probiotic is also a shelf-stable formulation and requires no refrigeration, allowing you to keep it in your purse, luggage, or cabinets with other supplements. The 1 billion CFU per serving potency also makes this probiotic ideal for use as a daily supplement in your diet. So if you suffer from mild to moderate gastrointestinal issues and are looking to vastly improve your health by maintaining a healthy gut and keeping your immune system functioning at its peak, or maybe you just want to improve digestion, increase vitality, reduce bloating, and gain energy, then we promise that Opana Naturals Probiotic will be the best probiotic you've ever tried. In fact, we are so sure you'll love them that we offer a 100% no questions asked satisfaction guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Order today from Amazon.com. And if you buy this week, take advantage of our special 20% off Amazon.com sale. Just use coupon code OPANA01 during your Amazon checkout to claim your discount. What else happened this weekend? 
So any bang for your buck, huh? Um, <laughs> so Alright, um Speaking about bangs, <laughs> my homegirl Ronda Rousey, oh my, oh my god. You ever seen that episode of Martin when he fought Thomas the Hitman here and his head like this big, got beat up? Mm-mm. Man. But I did see Karate Kid and Ronda got Molly Wopped. Molly Wop. You know? Matter of fact, I didn't watch it. If you didn't watch it, before we even get into this, we're gonna go to this clip. Yes. Check it out. Somebody pray for Ronda. Check it out. Check it, check it, check it out. Pray for Ronda. (laughs) (laughs) What do you have to say? You know? My thing is this. (laughs) I heard she had a big mouth. So, so, well, this is what it is. I don't know. As a fighter, you know, and I've since retired, you touch gloves. Oh, you used to fight? Yeah. Oh. You touch gloves. I used to fight, too. Really? Mm-hmm. I was like, you want to get down? Well, <laughs> you know what I mean? No. <laughs> my record was 15 to 1. What was your record? Oh, my gosh. You dig? I was too conceited. I only continue. had one fight. <laughs> this one. And she's a fighter, you know? And but I won. <laughs> well, Ronda ain't win, you know? And this is the thing, though. A lot of people feels like everybody's turning against Ronda. It's like what people don't realize is like when you're a big star, people are waiting for you to fall. They're waiting for you to mess yes, up. You know, what do you are think? looking for that. They want to see you fail. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Haters. I personally think she deserves... I'm not going to say she deserved to win. I think she needed the... Excuse me. She deserves the loss, but I think she need needed to lose. You know, the fact that she came in too cocky. People don't That's understand. why. Yeah, people don't understand okay. the difference between cocky and confident. And a lot of females um, look at Ronda Rousey as a role model. My thing is and this. And there's nothing wrong with that. I, I mean, she did have... I mean, she have, was a good fighter? Is a good fighter? She's a great fighter. A don't great get me kicker. wrong. Maybe we should put her on the Chargers. <laughs> She's Holly. not a kicker. <laughs> She's a submission. Oh, yeah. what is this? She got kicked. They kicked the living crap out of her. You see, I don't. Oh watch my this god! Stuff. I don't keep up on? with fighters. So this one, this okay. is my so opinion. Tell me, tell me. The reason why I think she needed it, if um, a lot of people would do the math and do the research, Ronda Rousey around the <laughs> UFC has been considered a big bully. She's been big bully to a lot of not not so much of other fighters, but more so um, the card girls. Recent months, there's been talk about her being a bully. But Ronda Rousey is like what? a role model for females to, you know, stand up for themselves and everything. Okay, you females don't go around bullying people. Exactly, you know? So with that Kids being said... do not do that at home. Try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> her confidence over, you know, I don't know how she went in there. I don't think she was prepared. She It was disrespectful of her not touching gloves, you know, as a professional fighter. And the fact oh, of the wow. matter is she underestimated... Miss um, Holly. And Holly, Holly, you know, Rhonda is a submission specialist. Uh-huh. You tap people out. Why are you trying to box? Holly had a, a like a, I think a four inch, inch reach on Rhonda. And as a fighter, if you got a reach on me, yeah. I need to come in. You know, I'm coming in. What am I going to try to box with you for? You scared you, me. Well, you a fighter. Look, she's scared. <laughs> but she a fighter. You did? Uh- I was joking. You was joking. <laughs> she was joking. No, so so was Rhonda. She was choking though. Choking. <laughs> she was choking. You know, but I think what we're taking away from this is like everybody's focusing on Rhonda. You know, a yeah. great father in in Holly. She just won this. You no. Know, her poor fans. I'm she sorry. She just won guys. this great championship. I wonder how how much did you bet on the game? I don't bet. No? I don't oh. bet. I'm, I love Ronda Rousey, but she needed to lose. I wonder what our viewers bet. Well, look at, look at Mayweather. They should let us know. They should what do y'all think? In the comments. I know this is going to be crazy, you know? But Mayweather, Mayweather um, actually, you no, know, they've been beefing. And lately, he's been showing support for her losing, saying, you know, if she needs boxing lessons or whatnot, he got her back. <laughs> you know? I don't know how to take that, but he's like, y'all need to stop trolling. People like 50 Cent and Lady Gaga, chill out. So how long do you think Ronda's going to take for her to be on World Star? Oh, she's not on there already? Mims everywhere. Yeah. But speaking about World Star, it's crazy. World Star has been in existence for 10 long years. I never knew that. I didn't know. 
It's insane, man. For 10 years, world star hip hop has been bringing, bringing us the best in ghetto knockouts and the most ratchet and ghetto oh, that's things. That's the website where all those fights are yes. posted, right? Yep. I don't watch it. You don't watch it? No. So, so it's losing popularity, right? It's for ten years it's been losing. Well, well star hip hop been losing a lot of popularity due to the creation of things like Snapchat, even Instagram, you know, and Vines, uh, you know. And right yeah. now, the Q, that uh -huh. is his name, Q, the owner, the owner, the founder, the creator, is actually looking to revamp World Star. Un you know? Yeah, pretty much <laughs> the whole Caitlyn Jenner. I like makeover. They're gonna do the Caitlyn Jenner. Oh, um, <laughs> world star. Yeah, that's a, I'm, what? You know what I'm oh, saying? Wow. Wrong? That's a Wasn't big that? It was transition. a special. <laughs> well, you know what? They're not competing, you know? Yeah. And that's how I feel personally, you know? This is just my opinion. I think world star is done, you know? Because do you, do you know I don't what? know. I mean, P. Diddy has an interest. He did offer him $40 million. And they turned him down. At, but he wanted, what, some kind of... Um, ownership or some kind of a well for the sales the point is that in a lot of these it's like uh, you could buy the company out but they'll keep you around you know for press coverages and whatnot but P Diddy offered 40 million dollars and Q turned them down you know but yet and still Q that's a lot of money but P hey, Diddy do, call me do you know <laughs> do you know why World Star was made uh, no this is why I don't like World Star. World Star Hip Hop was primarily oh, for made hip -hop. for hip hop and mixtapes. It would yes. be a way to get a lot of the up and coming artists. And so what's wrong with that? Because it's not about that. When you go to World Star, we see more ghetto fights and all this other stuff. Well, the there's more negativity on there than positivity. Well, now because but it was made to bring positive stuff out. That's well, why I don't like it. They probably had a detour from that because they weren't getting recognized, so they had to go to all the... I don't know about that. All the you, know? Big, you know, everything comes on Facebook, Snapchat, and if you have a good video, it'll trend, and pretty soon it was like 10 likes. I mean, it went from like 10 likes to a million likes overnight. I mean, do you, do you see the videos that are on... Not anymore. Social media? I mean, yeah, definitely. There I got vid are some crazy I got videos on social crazy media. Crazy people. Mm -hmm. No. And Speaking about no crazy and, <laughs> and videos being on social media. If well, you I have, have to <laughs> let you guys know. You just see the video she put on Instagram, <laughs> <laughs> hanging out with her friends and family. I'm telling you, I it's quite entertaining, but at least. She's, I mean, it shows that camaraderie. I wish more people was like that. No, Aww, I don't like world star hip hop. Yeah. I think world star hip hop is done. It don't support the, the culture or nothing. It doesn't. So, it, yeah, it it's already go. become something. And if it, it does go away from that, it'll lose more views. And, and I feel pumped that he was going to buy it for $40 million to actually bring it back to what it was meant to be. Maybe and world star should didn't. call us. Yeah, let, call us. Call me. We'll hook y'all up, <laughs> you know. But with that being said, you know. Um, we could be the fresh faces. I know, man. Yes. And oh, speaking man. of faces. Let's talk about my island girl. Oh, snap. You know, Rihanna. Rihanna is doing a lot of big things these days. You yes. Know? Rihanna. She is. Just inked a $25 million deal with Samsung. Samsung, the phone company. Nice. You know, it's crazy, uh, huh? God, I wish I was a singer. Wow. She <laughs> a rapper sing. or something. It ain't that hard. They, everybody's a rapper these days. You know, but anyway, $25 million for her upcoming um, album, which is actually called Anti, and for the tour. So Samsung is going to take her as sponsorship, sponsor her music. Uh -huh. So literally everything that Rihanna does for this tour and this album is going to be related. She and has involved. good music. She I, does. I do like Rihanna. Yeah. And did you know she has a marijuana? I did not. Brand? No? Her, her marijuana, I heard it on the radio today, this morning. And it was funny that we were going to talk about this. And I just remembered right now that See? her her marijuana <laughs> brand is going to be called my Rihanna. This is what we call retrib <laughs> retribution, folks. Last episode, somebody talking about being high and what they didn't do. Look what she talking about. We talk about music. She talking about getting high. It's cool. I knew, Coco. I knew. We all knew. 
it's it's for it's a medical thing. But what what she's trying just kidding, to just joking. What she's trying to hit the point on is a lot of artists nowadays that are music musicians and whatnot are doing and making a lot of m money outside of hip hop. You know, even you know to call Carl with well, what we all are doing. Well, okay, it's cool she got the sponsorship. I wish her the best and everything. Just don't mess it up. Don't do like. Yeah, get a girl from love. I, should I bring you're up not like gonna, Michael Vick? And you're not going to mess it up. We got faith in like you. Like, they're going to lose. Coco just wants that sponsorship. That's all it is. You know, but, you know. Me, like, thanks. Pick me. Pick me. She's following the trend of people like Dr. Dre with Beats. You know, uh -huh. Dr. Dre just sold Beats from Monster Headphones to Apple for 30, what, $3 billion. Remember you know? when 50 started that vitamin water? Yeah. But 50 is bankrupt now. I no. Don't mess it up, Rihanna. See, but he's not, he's not really bankrupt because he's getting sued. That's how they don't get no money if you ain't got none. You know, we also want to recognize Adele. Adele also signed a $30 million deal with Apple. Just for by her, saying hello? For her upcoming <laughs> uh, album. I'm Is being serious. So, oh Rihanna's God. doing it up with $25 million, but Adele, she hit that, she hit it. It's the 30 hello million. song. Yeah, it works. I don't know. Well, but look at Drake. <laughs> the hotline bling, you know, all the other stuff. Hey, it don't works. Don't talk about my baby daddy. Your baby daddy? <laughs> what the heck, Drake? What's going on? <laughs> but yeah, man, artists in hip-hop and outside of hip-hop are finding yeah. a lot of success outside of music. Because as we know right now, music isn't where it's at, you know? Me being an artist, <laughs> for one, and knowing what we go through, is is great to see people making money outside You're of You're a music artist and I'm a hair artist. Look at that. Yes. You know? We're both artists. Yeah. We're both Pisces. <laughs> so, yeah. you know. And with that being said, um... Who you sponsored with? Who who am I sponsored with? Well, check it out. My, if you want to talk about sponsors, I'm sponsored by Are people. we going to sponsor somebody or are they going to sponsor My DJ's us? Radio. Dot com. I mean, my music get played here. Mine's do, at least. Uh -huh. You know, um, my company, Fix Your Face Entertainment. Mm -hmm. Bullyville. Um, Shop Bully Designs. Yeah. You know? And we can go on. My, what well, would be your dream deal? My dream? You know what? This is what's crazy. You know? Unlike most artists, you know, I love the stage. I love performing and making music. My dream deal to, to be able to give the next sensation a great deal, to actually catapult them to change music, hip-hop. Because uh -huh. like I told you, hip-hop is not just a, a form of it's, music. It's it, our culture. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like how it used to be. Oh and you, Coco, God, if you I had a, a dream deal, let's say if you was an artist, who would you want to be signed to? What I mean, what, what would be the perks? Oh my gosh. You won't be like I'm, Selena. She looked like Selena, don't she? Oh, uh, I grabbed Yeah, her. look. Like anything for Selena. <laughs> See? I knew it. I knew it. This is the new 2015 Selena over oh, here. Oh, no, 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 no. Then no, we no, should no. change the show to the Wesley Snipes and Selena show. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it works. <laughs> See? That's hilarious. Nah, but if but you my dream deal, I don't know. I. Wow, I've never even really thought about it, but it would just, wow, I would, wow, I don't know. You do a lot with your family. I think she does. I, I could elaborate for her. She does a lot for her family, so I think it would be something I very family-orientated. You know, as you know, we're both parents, you know, and I think any deal that we'll ink, we have to really support With the future of our kids. Uh, I love unity, so if it was something to do with bringing families together and just taking that struggle that a lot of us go through. Well, the first part of the interview at my DJ's is um, we take you inside of our conference room where we sit down for a one-on-one -on -one consultation with a DJ of your choice. We set up an online website which allows you to customize your timeline, your music, your whole itinerary so we know exactly what's going to happen the day of your event. The second part of the interview, we actually bring you back into our showroom, which is sort of like a small-scale reception room where we laid out a dance floor. We have the full light show, the custom lighting, which consists of party lights, uh, monograms, spotlighting, uplighting. 
we want our customers at my DJs to experience a live demonstration of how much fun they will have at their event or what type of elegance we'll bring with our lighting on the day of their special wedding. And we also do a live demonstration right on the spot. No scripts at all. We ask you what your five favorite songs are or types of music that you like and we'll do a live demonstration right on the turntables. So we basically present two turntables and a microphone to show you how we'll actually interact at your event. So after the interview is over, we want our clients to feel very comfortable and confident that we'll be their DJ for their special day. Uh, we'll answer any questions that you have and overall we want to give you a warm feeling of, hey, that's going to be my DJ for our special day. Welcome back to Blade 8. I'm Wesley Snipes. And this is Selena. Selena, yeah. the watcher machine. There you go. <laughs> so, my DJ's radio, the feed, have a prank of the day. We ain't even see it yet. We all gonna watch this together. What do you think yes. about that? What are we gonna see? Let's check it oh out. Oh my gosh, I love pranks. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. But what would you do if something like that came around the corner? Oh my I will freaking go crazy. Wow. I, that's hilarious. Oh wow. The things people make. See, I wanna go build something now. I don't even know I how love I feel to do about pranks. That. I don't know how I feel about that. I, why? <laughs> I'm just saying, you walking down the block, right? Let's say we're walking down the block. We're not even thinking about that. And something just pop up from around the corner. That's what makes it better. And if I recorded you while I did that, oh, I don't classic. know how it act. One or two things could happen. I would be like one million views overnight. See, don't, I'm going <laughs> to warn you. I'd be a full star hip hop. If you ever see Will King out, which you probably won't because I'm not out there like that, don't try to scare me or prank me. It might not end up well. <laughs> I'm letting you know right now. You know, because mm. I'm, I'm I, look at her. Mm. She'd be the one to try and test it, too. You yes. know? And I know where you work. Look at <laughs> <laughs> See, women are stalkers. <laughs> That's the proof right there. So are guys. Now, I don't know what guy you're talking about. So are guys. Trust so, me. So with that being don't said, stalk me. that was our prank of the day with a dinosaur. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. But if this scared my kid, that dude. I know I'm going to go watch Jurassic Park tonight. Did you see the last one? <laughs> I think I need to go to um, Universal Studios. The last Jurassic Park, Jurassic World was actually really good. I still haven't seen it. What? I got the hookup with the site. I don't have sites. time for movies. I got the hookup with the sites. You can watch it at home. It's but anyway. Crazy. I think it's already on Redbox now. It might be. <laughs> it's on Netflix. But who's your favorite sports team? Boys. Los Chargers. You mean the Carson Chargers? <laughs> The Boston Chargers. Los yeah. How do you feel about the... <laughs> I'm a New York Giant, man. We already know the Why New York... Why are you a New York Giant I'm fan? from New York. Go to New York, then. Go <laughs> be a fan over there. Look at this. You are in San Diego, and you want to get cray-cray? But look, how <laughs> do you feel, though? How do you feel? The no. Chargers don't even want to be here no more. Stop, You're, stop I, saying mean things. It's the truth. God. It's the truth. All right, I got a question for I you. I would be so sad if they leave, and if we all of a sudden are San Diego Raiders, like I've seen. No, they're going to L.A. Nobody want to come in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. I got a box of Kleenex for you because you're going to be very sad. 
I but with that being said, will be very sad. How do you feel about you guys' season right now? Did you not see my Instagram? No, I, I went it. to the Bears game. They didn't and see that. <sighs> I was surrounded by Bears fans, and that was pretty scary. Did y'all win or lose? <laughs> Answer the Viewers, question. Viewers, help me! I'm getting attacked over I here. Don't, I don't. I don't watch Chargers games. What is y'all like? Two and eight? What is it? Stop saying mean things to me. You're all two and eight, oh my huh? God. Unlike the New York Giants, who actually win championship, we just it's suffered just, a heartbreaking it's not loss. Our, it's not our season. It's not our year. So y'all like okay. you don't like Eli Sometime. Manning. Um, no. If you a Does Charger he, fan, he plays for the Colts. Holy or, crap! Didn't he play with the Colts? She is a Charger fan, but she do not know who Eli Manning is. I know who he is. He plays for, and he has a brother. He that play, plays. Eli is the Giants, my quarterback. Okay, but and his brother's name? Peyton. That plays for the Broncos. See? I know This is they why are. this is it though, I'ma tell you. San Diego fans hate Eli Manning. Because Eli Manning was drafted to be the quarterback for San Diego and he's like, I don't wanna play for that town. Oh. oh. And Phillip Rivers was actually <laughs> supposed to be a giant. You guys can have rivers. <laughs> you heard it! San Diego, you heard it! Wow! See, I think all of San Diego you might see? feel the same she way did. I do. That's what they do to Rhonda. Soon as they down, they turn it back <laughs> on you. They, hey, Rivers, I hope you go to New York or anywhere else. Soon, and then they win a Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. You know what? This is crazy. I actually, before Junior passed away, Junior was actually a, a good friend of mine. He used to come to my Aww, apartment. He was a nice guy. You know, and Junior said it. He was like, it's like, it seems like whenever people leave San Diego, it's when they win championships. <laughs> and you know Junior Seau, the decorated legend Junior Seau won multiple championships after leaving San Diego. But it's not a pun on San Diego. We love y'all. It's just a hard season. You better recognize where you live. I know. I know where you live and where you work. But like I said. <laughs> They know what they see, you know? Miss yeah. Coco G over here talking trash. Look at that. She's going to be looking at it. Excuse me. <laughs> but. Oh, no, come back. Come back, partner. <laughs> with that being stated, today's speed, you have anything you want to say to our um, fans? Um, just thank you for viewing us. Hi, Mom. No, for really. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate and you. my sister. And my brother, hold on, I'm not done yet. I'm We're gonna be here an hour. Bigger... <laughs> We're gonna be here an hour. My th my third cousin Pedro. You know? <laughs> yes, all of them. I want. I want. Thank you to the taco shop. <laughs> no, but seriously though, on behalf of my DJ's radio, the yes. feed. My lovely, beautiful co-host oh, in the red God. dress, Thank you. and myself, Thank you. we love you. You're pretty awesome, too. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we should have a birthday, you know? But anyway, I'm going to keep saying it. I know, because it's just so rare. It's, it's weird. so just... We want to cool thank you all for tuning in. We want to yes. thank you all for thank your support, you guys. Thank family you and, friends. and friends. And remember, My DJ's Radio is where it's at. There's no bullying, yes. and we're anti-terrorism. Show love. Mm -hmm. Bye, adios. <laughs>